Hi there everybody, Lara here from my Central Park Energy Center in the heart of New York City and I'm going to show you today four energetic tricks and tips to help you stay healthy even when you're surrounded by some sick people. Maybe someone has a cold or the flu around you in your household or at work. This is how you can protect yourself. This is what I've been doing for years to stay healthy even when I have clients come in who are sick. So. I want you to actually bookmark this somewhere. Literally take this link, put it in your phone somewhere under colds and flu so you can come back to it again and you'll know exactly where it is and you can use these tricks and tips when you need them most. But watch it first, okay? Um, because some of what I can give, I'm gonna give you right now, you don't need to feel symptoms for. It's gonna help you get stronger increase the strength of your immune system so that you're less likely, even if you're exposed, to actually take on other people's symptoms. So we're gonna start with that. How do you supercharge your immune system during cold and flu season? Super, super easy, guys. Some very, very um, common acupuncture points on your body are Number one, underneath of your clavicle, you see me do this one a lot. If you go underneath your clavicle and next to your sternum and you tap this point, this is a kidney meridian point, very specific one, K27. And you can see how hard I'm tapping it. Do it with me right now, because doing this will give you a little bit of a charge of energy. So it's gonna energize you as well as stimulate and energize the kidney meridian, which is a really important meridian in your body because it really helps with detoxifying you. And it's the one that I find most stressed when my clients come in and they're sick. So stimulating this can help your body fight off colds and viruses, bacteria and virus with viruses, but it can also just help your body detoxify from maybe anything that you've ingested that may be taxing your system and weakening, weakening it in the first place. Now, pause here. You're going to go on your sternum, uh, right down from the top of your sternum in between your clavicle. There's a little bit of a bump right here. That notch is a thymus point. You're going to tap this. This is going to directly stimulate your thymus, which is a major part of your immune system. So right now, we are supercharging and giving some super energetic powers to your immune system just by tapping this point. Yep, and you can see how hard I'm tapping it. If any of these points are tender, guys, it means that you've got some stuck energy and you really need to do this. Okay, so if you're around someone and they're sniffling, just go like this and tap that thymus. <laughs> Now, go down on your rib cage, right here, underneath your chest. Tap these points as hard as you can. These are spleen and liver meridian points. And your spleen really does help you metabolize emotions as well as foods, while your liver is another detoxifier in your body. So stimulating these will not only help you improve digestion and detoxify your body, but it's gonna help you actually digest emotion too. And another main reason or cause of, you know, getting a weakened immune system is being stressed emotionally. So just tapping these points can also help you digest whatever stressors are occurring for you in your life. And as you digest those stressors, your body's able to really use its energy for immune function and digestion rather than stress. So that's gonna help protect you as well. Great, now, second thing I wanna go over is the emotional underlying cause of a lot of um, sicknesses. Emotions and stress is really, like I said, it can tax your system to the point where maybe if you weren't stressed by something, you wouldn't be sick. And a lot of times if you're feeling something up here in your throat, like you feel your glands start to get swollen, you may be having an issue that may be challenging your ability to express yourself, okay? That's affecting your throat chakra. Um, if you're having um, congestion up here in your head and headaches, you might be having a little bit of a crisis, fearing, the unknown, your third eye chakra is really about looking into the future. And if you're really unsure about maybe something that's going to happen or, you know, or, or fearing what it may look like, anything in the future, you might, this is where your congestion may wind up 
falling in your body. If you're feeling any chest tightness um, or congestion, congestion or tightness through your chest, could be that you're suffering with a matter of the heart. If you're having respiratory issues, upper respiratory issues would be more heart chakra, but lower respiratory issues, you know, down here may be affecting your identity, okay? Because this is your third chakra encases your lungs. So if you're feeling symptoms in any one of those areas, a really good thing to do is to work with the chakras and the electrical system. So very simply, you're gonna do this before bed at night. So no extra time out of your day. You can do this, it will help you relax and get a more restorative night's sleep, but it will also help you clear any negative energy out of that chakra so that you can wake up feeling emotionally refreshed as well. And doing this can really affect your symptoms of a cold or flu. So if you have a cold or flu and you're feeling the tightness or pain or, or tension in any of these areas, please do this. And especially if you're feeling something come on in any one of these areas, please do this. So you find your underarm right here and then you find your nipple on the left-hand side of your body. It has to be the left-hand side. Go from your underarm in and your nipple up and where the two lines intersect, there is a point that should be a little bit tender. It's a lung point. Then you're gonna go in your pubic bone. So go down from your belly button, go straight down till you feel a bone. Then move across to the right hand side of that bone, the corner of your pubic bone. With your fingers in this position again, both hands are in this position, you're gonna rest your hands here and you're gonna wait till you feel pulses in both hands. As you start to feel pulses in both hands, your fingers may get a little warm as well. Okay, you may also find that you may take a huge inhale and exhale. You're actually alleviating tension in your body. You're helping your muscles relax because this exercise also calms your central nervous system. So in addition to this being a really great uh, exercise for chakra clearing, just doing this before we even move our other hand into the chakra position, can help you soothe any muscle tightness, um, relax into your body, and really calm your nerves from a, you know, <laughs> it's a stressful day. So I do this actually every night now to calm down. So I know that I'm getting the most restorative sleep I possibly can. Once you get pulses in these fingers, you're gonna move your hand to any one of those places I just mentioned where you feel your symptoms. So if you're feeling any sinus pressure, you wanna maybe take your hand up here in between your third eye and rest your hand here. If you're doing this one, I would suggest putting a pillow under your elbow so you don't have to hold your arms up and you can relax in this position. If you're feeling your gland swollen, you wanna probably do it right here on your throat. Put your fingers right where you feel those swollen glands. And if you're feeling it in your chest, you're gonna put it right here. If you're feeling it really congestion in your lungs and having a hard time breathing, you're gonna put your finger right here on the third chakra in your solar plexus right in between your rib cage, okay? And you're definitely gonna use this hand mode as you, as you filter energy in through your fingers. You're gonna wait in any one of these positions till you feel pulses in both hands and your body relax. As you rest in this position, you can do this as long as, as, as you want to, really. And I would suggest doing it before bed and probably falling asleep in this position. It will relax you um, and, um, and really calm your nerves as well as clear your chakra of energy that maybe is causing you to have some stagnant blocks here. It could be... Could be could be creating a great environment for bacteria or your virus to really land, okay? So try this. Uh, if you wanna do this now, I would say pause this video so that you can actually take the full time to do this exercise and get the most out of it. But I'm gonna move on now. I'm gonna talk to you now about the supplements and oils that I really feel are kryptonite for viruses and bacteria. Now I have to preface this by saying I am not a doctor and I really do not like prescribing supplements. So if you're concerned about this, you may wanna to talk to your doctor and see if this is appropriate to take with anything else you're taking, maybe some other medications, some other supplements. So you may wanna to talk to your doctor about this before taking it. Uh, you can also read up on 
on any of these supplements online webmd um, dr ash is a really really great source dr Lippman. Um, look at some of the articles that are written on these supplements uh, so that you can know more about them before taking them but this is just what i take and i want to share it uh, with you now so L-lysine is a very um, effective, it, it can be a very effective vi antiviral uh, supplement. So I really like Thorn brand and I usually take about 2,000 milligrams in the morning and the evening. Again, please read the bottle, maybe talk to your doctor, find out the dosage that's going to be best for you. Iolysine has been known to be a very good antiviral. So when I feel something coming on, I usually take L-lysine, 2,000 milligrams in the morning and the evening. Again, check the dosage with your doctor or read up what would be best for your weight online. And I also take oregano oil, either in the oil form from Young Living. And gee, where is it? I don't know where my Young Living oil is, but with the oregano oil, I generally put about four drops into about an eight ounce glass of orange juice or some other ju juice of some kind that's got a pretty strong flavor because oregano oil is pretty intense. So you basically take your oil and drop one, two, three, four, and mix it up. You can use the actual oil, adjust it, but I wouldn't put it on your skin. Please drink it with the juice because it's quite intense and it can burn a little bit. If I don't feel like <laughs> going through the nasty taste and tasting the nasty taste of the oregano, I also have been known to take this product called ADP. One is quite powerful. It is a form of oregano oil from Biotics Research. And this is great to take along with the L-lysine. Again, talk to your doctor, read up online about it first, make sure that it doesn't interact with any else, anything else you're taking. Now, if you're having sinus is issues, lemon oil can be great. Uh, again, I use Young Living Oils. I also would say doTERRA are great as well. You just take this lemon oil and you rub it on your fingertips. And you can rub it right here on sinus points. And after you rub it on, you can tap it just like that. And then there's also good sinus points right up here on your forehead. So you rub it right across your forehead and you can tap it here to get that lemon oil right in. And this can really give you a great deal of sinus relief. So I highly re recommend this one as well. And last but not least, guys, Ah, win points. This is super, super important. This is a great way that you can actually protect yourself with some really simple um, ways that you can dress yourself to protect yourself from getting cold into your body. The Chinese medicine doctors talk about win points and they exist along the back of your neck here, behind your ears, and also there's a bunch of them just above your pelvis and your uh, above, like at the low back in the low back area. It's very, very important to keep these points covered and warm during the winter season. So wearing a hat, yes, what your mother said when you were a kid is super, super important. Honey, you wanna wear your hat so you don't catch a cold. Well, she's right. The cold air can get into these wind points on your head and that's one of the ways that people get sick, okay? So you wanna make sure that you wear a hat. If you don't wear a hat, you really wanna wrap your head up with a nice scarf and you wanna make sure that those wind points along the back of your neck are really covered and nice and warm. Also, tuck your shirt in, guys. So, you know, you know, there's a lot of people out there that don't like to tuck their shirts in, but in the winter time, it's really important to keep these wind points back here warm. So make sure you tuck your shirt in and um, wrap yourself up in your coat, zip yourself up to keep those wind points nice and warm um, so that you can keep the cold from getting in and um, keep yourself healthy, okay? So please use these tips, guys, and please, like I said, keep this on file somewhere so that if you feel something coming on, you can pull it up and do these exercises and take these things okay because this is these are my tips and tricks this is really what's helped me stay healthy winter after winter and after winter um, and um, I really I, I can't say enough about about these tips and tricks um, 
So please try them, file this away somewhere, and let me know what you think, okay? Um, remember too, when you feel something coming on, that's the time you really want to be doing all of this stuff. Once the flu gets in your system, it has to take its full course. So do this to prevent it coming, and if you feel it coming on, try these things, get rest, take care of yourself, and um, just think about all these great things your mom used to tell you. Rest, stay warm, take hot baths, eat hot soup, okay? Um, all right, I want you to treat yourself well and take care of yourself, and I'm giving you a big hug and so much love. Mwah!